Hello. Hello everyone. Welcome to Embarkation Day. We are getting on board Arcadia, Pino Cruises ship, where we're going to be spending the next 60 days on board. It's so exciting. I'm buzzing. <laughs> I'm absolutely buzzing. Me too. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Brogan. I'm Benji. And we make home travel and lifestyle vlogs and we are sharing our full two month cruise where we're getting married on board next weekend, which is wow. so exciting. Literally seven days away. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Can't wait. So, so far we we flew with Emirates Business Class from mm -hmm. London and we shared that experience and we've also shared a full hour long vlog from our week in Auckland so if you want to go and check that out then I'll leave a link below mm -hmm. but today we are obviously still in Auckland getting on board and then we're moving on tomorrow to the Bay of Islands yeah. so no, to Tar Tar uh, oh, Tauranga. tomorrow ah oh, and then the Bay of Islands yeah. right now we're in the Grand by Sky City the hotel we've been in for the last week we've just repacked up all of our stuff <laughs> yeah we're done and we're gonna go check out how some breakfast are our new favorite breakfast place yeah. called Federal. Basically killing a bit of time here because our embarkation time is 1.15 and it's only 11 a.m. right now. So we're just waiting. And then when we get on board, we'll show you our room. Mm -hmm. And do a little room tour. Yeah, we have a mini suite for the next few months, which is very exciting. So does that mean now that we've got to get our, get, pop them back to our suite? No, <laughs> we always say cabin, don't we? We st <laughs> still say cabin. Okay. Let's go get on board Arcadia, but first let's have some breakfast. Breakfast first. I'm hungry. Food first, <laughs> always. The federal menu has just switched over to lunch, but we're still gonna have exactly what we had yesterday if you watched the last vlog, which is the salmon potato with egg and creme fraiche. It's amazing. But we're also gonna try the poutine today. So every time we've been here, we've tried something different as well. So this is the breakfast and we have the poutine as well. And it smells amazing. Very excited. Breakfast was very nice. We're now going to ask the hotel to get us a big taxi so we can fit all our cases in and then we'll be going down to the terminal building to check in for the cruise. I can't believe this is the first day of the trip. Well, the trip really started last week but the first day of the cruise. <laughs> We're in the van. We had to hire a bigger car to get the stuff. I mean, to be fair, even if we would have had more than two suitcases, we wouldn't have fit in a, in a Prius. No. We're going to Queen's Wharf Terminal to check in. Oh my goodness. That's oh. first, our first time seeing her. Yeah, the first glimpse of Arcadia. Right, we've arrived into the cruise terminal yes. and they took our suitcases immediately as we walked in so we didn't have to try and push them off. Yeah, really helpful. Which is so great. And it just looks like this. It's like a little mini terminal. It's really nice. Everyone's already said, oh my gosh, we're getting married. <laughs> Everyone noticed the white, the, the, the wedding, wedding dress. dress. Yeah. So we're just waiting to check in here. And then once we finish, we go through security in there and then we should be straight on board okie dokie this is it this is a feeling that i really can't explain the excitement of knowing you're about to get on board is something else oh my goodness and then we were on we were on board <laughs> oh my gosh are we ready oh oh my, oh my goodness, goodness. <gasps> it smells amazing wow Look at our room. Oh, wow. Hey, honey, we're home. <laughs> That's so exciting. One door. Front door. <laughs> the one to your right, that's the toilet. We'll, we'll go in there in a minute. That. Yep. And then we have three double wardrobes. Shelves down there, hanging, and a shelf. Oh, wow, they're giving us some suits and a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> Life jackets are up there. Oh, two robes. Ooh, because we're in a mini suite. And then the third one. Yeah, more we've got shelves and some hangers. Life jackets, a safe, plenty of hangers, which is oh, great. And laundry bag as well for if we need. To but send we'll do our own laundry, won't we? Nice leather chair, coffee and tea, nice big mirror, lots of drawers down the side. Oh, it's got a hairdryer in. That's very helpful to know, but I did bring my own. It stops oh, your wine glasses clanging. If we have any rough seas. Okay, and then we pan round. We've got a sofa, which turns into a bed. And then as we come round, we've got another desk over in the corner, which I'll show you in a bit more detail in a second. And the bed, which is huge. We sleep so well on a piano cruise. Mm -hmm. holiday because the bed 
beds are such nice quality we've also got drawers down each side of the bed too and again a nice big mirror at the back which makes it just feel really big we have this desk which has got some chocolates for us that's so sweet and we have lots of space to be able to put our laptops and you know it's this very different kind of trip in comparison to our other cruise holidays oh there's champagne in the fridge we have more drawers under there which is very helpful and around the corner this is what it looks like from this angle just so you get the full effect we have another little cupboard down here which is also more storage which is very helpful two shelves or a shelf there two spaces i can't believe this is where we're spending 60 days it's gonna be incredible isn't it yeah it's so much, and also it feels like there's like separate rooms within yeah. the room yeah so it's nice like a living area we've got if you're doing your makeup i can be on my laptop over there or whatever yeah there's so much space that we can and also that's before we even get onto the balcony the balcony yeah there's also a table and chair here too but i have no idea what's in the basket we'll open that in a minute let's go outside then have a little look at the view look at the balcony oh yes this is perfect look how much space we have out here it's so good so spacious so we can actually sunbathe or we can play games, we can have breakfast out here and look at this view of Auckland. It now officially feels real, real. I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience. Like it just feels so bizarre that we're getting on a cruise ship. We love cruising so much. You just think the first time that we push away from port and start like that gentle bob. We think we're gonna go for a little explore. We're gonna, mm -hmm. We can't unpack our stuff yet because we don't have our cases. And we also have a suitcase that we sent on board in Southampton. So when we meet our cabin steward and say hello, we'll ask them if they can find out where our suitcase is. Yep. And then start unpacking this afternoon. So exciting. I've honestly never been so excited to unpack ever. No, we're gonna organize it well though. I'm about to show you the bathroom next, but this is the reality of what we actually do when we film room tours for you. <laughs> And if I'm not in them, then I'm either sat on the toilet, like with the lid down, just, like waiting, or out in the cabin, out on the balcony. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom. So this is so big for a cruise ship. I don't think you can fully appreciate it, but there's loads of space when you walk in. Loads of shelving space underneath. Double his and hers sinks. Huge mirrors, which is greatly appreciated for me to do my hair and makeup in here. These little cabinets here open up so you've got space to store all your toiletries which i'm gonna love guys this is like a really exciting day for me that i get to fill this cabin with all my things and make it homey and get comfortable ah! obviously the toilet towel space and then we have the bath this shower curtain feels very new it's one of those like jet jacuzzi baths as well which is absolutely incredible so i'm very excited about that but the greatest thing is that there's actually a separate shower as well the lovely white company products which i did not bring any shower gel on purpose because i knew they had this on board and i absolutely love it but as well as the products in the shower they also give you a gift box there is a body lotion and a hand wash which is so lovely such a nice gift and we'll be using those over the next two months oh i've just noticed there's another one that's the soap there there we go hand wash perfect what i didn't film is when we came on we had someone take us to our muster station where they showed us where to go in the event of a drill or a fire or an evacuation and then we also have to go to a briefing at 4 p.m what did they say about the suitcase it will be dropped off with a water fire of a stuff oh okay i walked up and down oh silly that was silly the lifts are working, I just thought I'd walk. <laughs> Won't be doing that again. I was also going to say that Benji and I have been so lucky to go on lots of cruises with PO Cruises. We've created lots of amazing content, so I'll leave below my other cruise vlogs. But this trip is our own and it's our honeymoon. It's my 30th birthday, so we don't have to make any content. We're under no obligation to, but of course we want to. So we won't be filming every single sea day and we might not film every single stop, but we'll always show you sort of what we've been up to, give you an update, and all the main places we're going to. We're going to be vlogging so you're going to get individual vlogs as we go along but i think the next thing we want to do is maybe open that hamper bench yeah, while waiting okay. and i want a drink and we need to go this sounds crazy but we want to go back outside and take a selfie with the ship our bags are already here for as long as it took to do a room tour literally we're back, literally just about to leave and two of our bags have already turned up yeah we've just met our cabin steward prakash he's so lovely he's so sweet, isn't he? we're looking at our horizon magazine we get one every day which has the says, schedule let me show them 7 a.m till midnight it has all the entertainment so we have a quiz this is the th film that i was talking about cocktail pianist 
Rising Sun Challenge, another quiz kind of thing. Guess the gin. Guess the gin. And so many things. And that tour de cycle, like a cycling class. Table tennis competition. Brilliant. Exciting. Really exciting. Oh, oh they're producing. Oh, In case you were curious what was in the basket, it's basically loads of home comforts and goodies and this is from some lovely friends that have been very sneaky and helpful and managed to get this in our room to us. So they know who they are and we're very, very grateful. They're very sweet and thoughtful and know us extremely well because we love everything in here. This is some of our favourite things. They've even gone as far as putting a picture of our dog in a frame which made me cry. Change it out. There's, that one There's well. another one. Because literally yesterday we were scrolling for our Instagram so that's one of our favourite photos. That one is, yeah. Yeah, that's so sweet and kind. So thank you so, so, so much. We're really, really, really grateful. I can't believe there's juice there as well. We're <laughs> fully stocked now. That's the most important thing, the juice. <laughs> the squash. We got the juice. Do you want to give Bonnie a pride of place somewhere? Yeah. Where do you want to put yeah, her? I want her on your side. Can you? you put on my side of the bed? Yeah, so I can look at her every day. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let us know, do you and your partner have a side of the bed? Because Benj and I do and always have. I'm always on the left, no matter where we go, what hotel, whether it's by a door or not, it's always me on the left and Benj on the right. We're waiting for one more suitcase, the one we sent on to Southampton, but the others are all here already. They're getting it out of a storage unit, aren't they? They said yeah. we met the deck manager. He was so lovely. Benoit. So Benoit had worked here for 15 years of P&O Cruises and Prakash has worked here for 20 years, which is so amazing. Must mean that they really love their jobs, right? I assume so, yeah. That's very loyal. I'm really impressed. So we're just deciding, do we want to wait for that final case or do we want to go downstairs? We want to take some selfies with the ship. Wowie, look at Arcadia. So nice. So beautiful. Oh, wow. Lag on the front's just stunning, isn't it? They're actually just cleaning it, so they're doing a very good job maintaining, keeping her beautiful, but very exciting. Yay! I've tied my hair up in a pony. Selfie has been secured outside, and we're now gonna go and grab some food because it's ten past three. It's our first little glimpse of the buffet. I have got no idea what I want to have. Oh, potato salad. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a little salad up. This looks so yummy. I've got a prawn cocktail brioche roll, chicken and bacon tortilla wraps. This is wonderful. What a nice little first lunch on board. Lovely. They do also have loads of hot options. And this is just lunch, by the way. Guys, I've got to admit something to you. I left my phone in the room and we got off the ship took a selfie and came back and I was like I won't panic because it'll be in the room obviously was but we forgot to bring ID which we didn't realize we needed so they had to call security to check we are who we are which obviously makes sense that was fine we got on board we obviously apologize and now we know so then we went for lunch and I put my hair up and I forgot I took the key card the net the lanyard off I'm smiling because I can't explain to you i don't lose things i don't leave things places i'm not that kind of person i'm the most organized person you know and now i've misplaced the room keys they are inside i'm assuming so because can't lose a lanyard can you so bench has gone to find our cabin steward or go to reception in my defense it's been a really really busy few weeks and the last week being in auckland has been so busy and i think coming on board i just suddenly relaxed like i suddenly felt really at home and at peace and like oh, i could breathe and i think that's what's happened is that i've just relaxed and then <laughs> left my stuff everywhere so i need to do better so this is how we're going to unpack we're doing the first suitcase we packed back in the uk can we just jump straight in and just kind of go for go it, for it really. we'll show you it when we're all unpacked basically we are taking a quick break from packing so that we can go to the globe oh which is here oh, 
This is the bridge for exercise, for exercise, for exercise. The general emergency alarm is about to be sounded for guest familiarisation purposes only. On behalf of all of us at Pino Cruises, may we wish you a warm welcome on board. So we've done our safety drill. No. Now we're back to pack unpacking. Just come back to a little bowl of chocolates. Don't mind if I do. Just sorting out our laundry. Wow. And we're going to take it and go and do our first load of trip. He's got his wash basket. <laughs> it has been many hours and we are finally finished unpacking. So are you ready for our world cruise room tour with everything in it, showing you around where I've put everything, how we've organized the cabin, basically what we've got. So, sorry, there's another ship leaving. I'm just getting used to all the noises. I love it though. I love being at sea so much. I'm really happy with how the room's turned out. I feel really like pleased with everything we have. I know that to some it might look excessive, but for us, we wanted to have all our luxuries. This is our honeymoon and my 30th birthday. And we just wanted to make sure that we had a lot of options and choice and we didn't make the room feel too cluttered. But I feel like it's looking pretty good. So let's show you around. I think we'll start in the bathroom and we'll come through. In case you're wondering where Benj is, he's just popped to the gym to do a workout. He said he was already really sweaty. He may as well go and do a workout and give me some space to do this tour. And then I'm gonna have a shower and then we'll get ready for dinner so let's do the bathroom first and also I'm very red and sweaty just not sunburned just sweaty right so bathroom wasn't too difficult to organize I mostly have used Ikea storage boxes to put everything along the bottom shelf I've put my makeup under here because I want to do my makeup in the bathroom as the lighting is just really good and the mirror is nice so I'll see how I get on with that some miscellaneous beauty bits perfume some other miscellaneous essentials <laughs> towels and face cloths all of our suntan lotion and then both of us have a side each so obviously i've got my skincare and hair care in there and then my contact lenses i've got in a little pot that i packed my teeth stuff and then benji's got his on the other side in the cupboard he's got his own little stuff going on i have got my own robe as well as the piano cruises ones because this one says wifey we've used a magnetic hook to hang the cruise cards right by the front door so that i don't forget them again i've also popped a little umbrella there this one is great because it's one of those like uv ones let's do these wardrobes next we'll start with the first one which is benji's so he's got all his t-shirts and shirts hung and we did bring a lot of our own extra hangers as you can see these thin plastic ones are perfect and then he has his shoes on that shelf and mine are below i've actually divided it up and put my high heels and evening shoes in the bottom of that part my clothes in the middle section again it looks a lot but i've broken it down into day dress Dresses, and then I have evening dresses when I don't want to really get dressed up if we go to the buffet or whatever and then these are my sort of nicer evening dresses and then black tie as well in these shelves Benji has the top two and I have these two and again I've used Ikea cubby storage hole things so that's got my pajamas and my underwear in he's got some stuff organized at the back there too which is perfect and we've got our pop-up laundry bags which we've already filled with our stuff from all Auckland, but Benji's already done a dark wash which is amazing so I'll show you that outside in a minute whoever's doing the washing can grab it and then grab whatever we need from there I know that this is meant to be for ties but we are using it for that so that's perfect nothing on the desk at the moment but this is where I'm going to be doing a lot of my editing so you'll see probably charging cameras and stuff these drawers contain a lot of my hair stuff so we have hair bands and scrunchies and bows and products the the second one has clips and hair brushes and the bottom one has hair straightener curler hair dryer this one has miscellaneous bits and bobs you can basically see loads of random things the second one has got my swimwear and then the bottom one has got the first aid kit plugs sewing kit jewelry spare sunglasses plugs spare makeup i've popped our bigger bulky day bags down the side there but before i forget i've got the rest of my bags in this storage box under here which i brought with me too all of my bags 
tote bags, evening bags, everything is in there. This is annoying though. This is this keeps doing this, so I need to be careful. You get the gist. Oh, I've also got a rucksack under there as well. This is what the cabin's looking like from this angle. So in my side table, I've got stuff for our wedding day in there. And then this one I'm gonna use for my Kindle or like whatever I want by my bed. But for now, it just has my glasses. And of course, Bonnie Girl in the frame. Such an amazing gift. I actually have no idea what Benji's got going on over here. He's got a book and his switch and his headphones and other bits oh bless him he's using a little basket <laughs> for some other things we have had to run an extension lead along the back because there's no plug for me to charge my phone by my bed and i do like to have my phone next to me so we've got it in the middle sort of just placed there i honestly thought that it'd be long enough but it's not so that's fine we can make do on the wall we have some paperwork the magnetic calendar that i filled out before we left so i know exactly where we are and what we're doing and and Benji's hats are in those little bags, so that's handy. In here, I've got all of my tech and gadgets. So that's in there and in the bottom one too. And I've also organized our games, some stationery and thank you cards. And in here, I've also got some like Disney ears for when we get to Hong Kong and some of the souvenirs I've been buying. This shelf above the TV <laughs> is currently got our stock. So it looks a little bit wild, but we bought some bottles and then our friends kindly gave us some as well because they know that we love squash so <laughs> we have plenty of squash right now and we've already gone through a little bit of this bottle as you can see it was so nice to have some of that and then some other sort of drinks stuff on that shelf right now there is nothing on the sofa and as you might have noticed i moved the chairs and benj and i have agreed that we don't feel we need them and we asked the deck manager when he came and introduced himself and he said that he might be able to find an area that they can put those in storage for us i just think that it's extra furniture that we just don't need because if we do want chairs we've got the two that are by the desk and it just frees up more space to come round the room if that makes sense so i just don't think we need them they are beautiful chairs and i'm sure they're very comfy but knowing me and benj we'll just dump stuff on them and make them messy and i just don't think we'll need them this cupboard in here now homes all of our snacks which is absolutely wild so these were things we bought in auckland and then this is our food basket we can slide in and out it fits perfectly and we also bought our own little alarm clock so we can change that with the time zones and out here we have hung our washing we only want to do this when we're not sailing and already i think this has been out for like an hour and because the sun is so intense this is already completely dry ben just literally hung the washing line and then we bought our own pegs as well and this one is so good too honestly some of these little hacks we have have been genius the final little thing to show you on the wall here was this that we have just for storing some miscellaneous bits so when we come in if we have bits of paperwork or cards or things we want to hang i don't know it's just such a handy little place and i've also got a spare lanyard just hanging down there too i am so sweaty as you can see and i'm desperate for a shower so i think that's what i'm going to prioritize next and then we'll go for some dinner but i'm so excited to be here i feel so unbelievably grateful and this is really truly a special special trip for us i just love cruising so much i feel so comfortable and just so relaxed already we had a lovely little lunch and i'm sure we'll have a great dinner as well and i just love the fact that ben has been able to pop to the gym and we can go swimming and i can read my book on the balcony i'm really looking forward to the lifestyle of cruising it's going to be a completely different level to what we're used to the longest cruise we've done is 14 days so two weeks on a med cruise and this is going to be two months so yeah i'm absolutely loving our cabin loving how we've organized it all i'm gonna take some pictures and show our mums and then i will get in the shower and we'll get ready for some dinner the sun has been amazing setting over the skyline all the cruise ships have left i think we're the last ones and look at this i don't think i'm ever gonna get used to just seeing the different ports and harbors i'm so happy i could actually cry all the logistics planning packing preparations just the weight of it of like thinking about every little detail has just been so much and now i can just like <sighs> both of us just have absolutely no regrets for choosing this over a big wedding day it just feels like the perfect way to kickstart our marriage and 
We literally get married next week. Like, it's crazy. It feels like it's very, very fast, but also perfect at the same time. All right, so we've come up to the top deck. This is, well, deck nine. Lido deck, which is where the swimming pool is. Well, one of them. There's another one at the aft, I think. Oh, this is the gym and the spa. I don't know if we're going to be able to give you a full tour today, as it is eight o'clock and we want some dinner, but this is the hair salon. Wow. So I'm going to get my nails done next week. We were wrong. That's not the top deck. There's two more. Why did I think nine was the top? How lovely. We can go up again if you'd like. Oh, no, it's okay up here. Oh, okay. Look at the ship. We walked to the front, but these windows are black, so you can't fully see, but we are sailing away now, which is exciting. It's happening. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. <laughs> I just it's like fully hit me, I think, suddenly. Now we're unpacked. I don't think I could fully relax till we were all unpacked, but it's all happening. Bye Auckland. It's been wonderful. We've absolutely loved you. We're not quite leaving New Zealand yet though. Finish now. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's that been... was so last week. <laughs> <laughs> so nice seeing it all at night. We saw it from the sky tower, but this is really cool being this close and seeing it from the ship. We're gonna have to get used to it because this is the kind of views we're gonna get everywhere we're coming in now. Although some ports won't be the same. Not like this. No, no this is really Sydney nice. Sydney's gonna be incredible. I wanna set an alarm. I wanna find out the rough time that we start going through Sydney Harbour. We'll get up and we'll watch it. Of course, this is genuinely spectacular. What an amazing way to start our trip. We've come back down to deck three, which is where dinner is, and they have some lovely shops in here, but they don't open for another five minutes. We'll have to show you those in another vlog, but just to give you a little overview. There's some really good brands in there as well, haven't they? Yeah, there's loads of stuff in here. It's really nice. I love it. As we were passing, I thought we'd walk through the library. This is what it looks like. And then over here they have DVDs if we want to put anything in our DVD player. The screening room is by ticket only. You can get your tickets from reception. Oh, okay. Oh, the Piano Cruises shop. We like that. There's also a little Costa area so you can get proper Costa coffee over there, which is nice. This is the Palladium theatre. Should we try and show them a little bit? There might be a and show that, on actually. They're playing Bohemian Rhapsody. And that means for the first time this trip, and the first time in many, we've gone the wrong way. We need to go that way. Oh no. <laughs> well we gave a little tour. So Arcadia can take just under 2,000 guests and about eight to 900 crew. So it's definitely one of the smaller ships we've been on, which suits us really well because it means that we don't have to walk too far for anything. It feels very homey. Yeah, even already we've noticed loads of people just chatting to each other. It's very so it's like, a, like a really village feel. Very friendly, yeah. Oh, we're walking into a bar area. Oh, is this the atrium? Here we go. This is the atrium. So obviously down there is the reception just tucked underneath. And then on all the different floors, there are different bars and spaces, <laughs> but you can't appreciate it. But this is beautiful. We'll have to show you from the ground floor, but it's a really lovely piece in the middle with the lights. So with the Piano Cruises dining, you can have two seatings. So you can have a 6.30 or 8.30 if you're on the specific dining times or you can be on freedom dining which means you can dine at any time between i think it's six to eight thirty -ish. this is our first dinner menu in the main dining restaurant what's it called meridian. meridian there are loads of different mains that i actually like the sound of and some of the desserts as well there's loads of good things on this menu yeah, i could easily have three Four courses. <laughs> three, four, Different four, things yeah. you like, yeah. For our starter, we both have the mushroom and blue cheese yeah. cannelloni, which looks amazing. Look at that. And she's got a chicken Kiev with, is it like a curry sauce or something? Sagaloo. With like a mango chutney, I think. Yeah, and like a curry. A sag I think it's a sagaloo, like a curry kind of thing. It looks amazing. Yeah, really excited. And I have got the fillet steak with king prawns. Look how amazing this looks. The steak is always so good on board. Always so good. Always so good. I love it, so I'm very happy to have this. We've just seen our cabin host, and he's done a turn down service for us. So he's moved the pillows and put Benji's pajamas out for him and he's put the pillows on the thing here and moved this that was on there you know the decorative stuff 
and he's cleaned the bathroom, replaced the towels that we used when we had showers earlier and just tidied up in there. And he took all our rubbish away from when we unpacked. He also asked us when we want ice each day. So I told him after six o'clock tomorrow because our short experience is 9.30 to 6.30 tomorrow. But he said that they only do a turndown service for mini suites and suites only on this ship in the fleet club currently. Ben just gone downstairs to try and get to the reception and events manager because he has requested a meeting tomorrow at five to talk about our wedding day but we are on a short experience as i said until half six so we can't make that so he's gone to amend the time of our meeting we're just putting away our washing that mm -hmm. was great that you managed to smash that out earlier really so easy as well we're allowed to hang it when we're in port to dry but then when we're sailing you have to bring it all in obviously because the wind will pick it up and it'll take it on so. yeah just in case you're wondering what the rules were mm. with washing we're allowed to do that the food was nice in the restaurant really enjoyed my food yeah it was yeah. really nice yeah it's been a long day so we didn't we didn't bother with desserts but no no I mean, i'm sure we'll probably show lots and lots of desserts throughout the trip thank you for watching this vlog we hope mm. you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next ones where are we going next we're going to tauranga when we're going to rotorua and then we're doing the bear islands and we're going to get to russell and maybe somewhere else as well yeah so we'll show you that soon so have a lovely rest of your day and we'll see you soon bye love you bye